hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today is going to be a very different style video i want to start doing these like once a week um this is going to be just like a coffee sipping chit chat style video um i kind of want to do like shan chats or shan fam chats you know what I mean? Just like talk videos and just, I don't know, just talking about whatever I want. <laughs> um, or anything you guys decide to leave in the comments and to talk about. Um, I do have a subject on mine for today. So if you want to stick around and listen to my little chit chat video then just okay. keep watching so what i wanted to talk about today is just like i don't know life in general i <sighs> just been going through some things like mentally um i do have some form of just generalized anxiety and just overthinking and constant worry or constant questioning i question everything and anything you can think of um just because i don't know i can't even explain to you why there is no reason why i just my brain just says but why why this are you sure are you sure you don't feel this way instead of this way are you sure you're making this decision that's correct or could it be this way you know, it's just like a constant battle between myself and myself, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, but recently, work has just been extremely overwhelming. Um, I've had so much overtime in the past few weeks due to just an e like a, a new change in computer systems. We're all having to learn it and go through it and do things with it. Um, and it's just been insane with like new trainings and new this and new that. And you have to do it this way and not this way. And people complain that they don't want to do it and this, that, and the other thing. And it's just, it's like depressing almost, if I could say the least. Um but um there's that and then there's just a lot going on in my personal life right now um i don't know if you guys have ever heard this before if you're either older or younger than me i am 24 years old um but people always say and there's quotes everywhere on the internet of just your 20s are like the most they're supposed to be the most fun time in your life, yet you're supposed to have everything already together and set. And you're supposed to be done figuring everything out that you want and this, that, and the other thing. But I don't know. I feel like in my life that's like clinically impossible because I don't know. Actually, I do know it just takes me a while to get there. And to get there takes time and work and a lot of hard work and a lot of stress and money and this and that and the other thing. And you're going to hear me say this, that, and the other thing a million times because that is my saying. I say this, that, and the other thing all the time. But anyways. So, as you guys know, I'm a medical assistant. But... That is not truly my passion. I do love working with people and just things like that, but it's not my passion. My passion is beauty. My passion is makeup. My passion is this interaction that I have with you guys right here. Um, so that's kind of what I've been working towards. Um, but then again, I am reaching an age where I need to move out of my parents' place and my job right now doesn't really pay me enough money to be able to do that. So it's kind of a struggle in my mind where I can save all of my money that I get and just keep saving and not do fun things anymore. Not do like 
buying makeup constantly anymore to do this anymore or and then just be able to move out and be on my own and do that and just be on my own with my boyfriend and then that's it and then he's gonna be working full-time and not doing what he loves to do which is not an option for us we want to be able to do what we love to do and that is like my goal in life is to be able to just love my job and I'm not at that point right now and I do want to talk about how this is affecting me mentally um, because my decisions in life right now are only based off what others decide first if that makes any sense so it's kind of just like a big back and forth type of thing and I could make this real easy on myself by going back to school for nursing and um, I've been highly considering it but then again going back to school for nursing is something that I do not want to do I do like being in the medical field but it's not my passion and why would I want to spend money on something just to get me paid more money to move out and continue doing what I love to do however that's loans that's money that's adult things that you have to deal with and paying things off and blah 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 down the line and I don't I don't want to pay for something just to use it for a short amount of time if that makes any sense I don't want to you know I mean it can be used as a backup which is something you always need to have in life is a backup plan you can't just not do anything you can't just not have you can't just have an idea and run with it and say oh this is going to work out forever I don't need anything else no you need to have a backup plan you need to have a plan and place just in case something doesn't work out so that's really the only reason why i'm considering going back to school for that um but the main topic i'm getting to is anxiety and this anxiety has driven me bananas it's driving me bananas and my whole life I've been able to bury my anxiety and to the point where I just am numb and it looks like I am not affected by it whatsoever. I just ignore it. I completely ignore it. And um, that's not good. I should be facing it head on and telling myself, you know, anxiety's here. She's here to hang out and play, even though you don't want to. And I need to accept her. I need to deal with her. I need to learn how to work with her to make proper decisions. And, um, you know, talking to someone always, always helps. I have learned tremendously in a short amount of time that if I just talk about it, it's like an elephant was on my shoulders and then he just stood up and walked away. I feel so much better just talking about my anxiety so if you guys are out there and you're dealing with anxiety again disclaimer not a doc not a psychiatric doc not a nurse I'm unable to tell you what meds will work and what won't even if I did know it doesn't matter because everything works for somebody else differently um, on a self-healing point of view, this is just what works for me. Um, recently, when my anxiety comes into my mind and I just start hearing the what ifs and why and my questioning, questioning myself, I have that other side of me, thankfully, to tell the other side, stop. Stop. Just stop. It's like when someone is trying to uh i don't know how to put this like if somebody's if you've ever had somebody lie to you and you know that they're lying and they're just spitting all this information at you to make you believe them and you just want to tell them look at them directly in the eye and just say stop just stop talking i'm not listening anymore i don't want to play just stop talking that's what i try to do with my anxiety I try to tell her because she's just questioning, 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 do this, do that, no, you should do this, do that, never mind, change your mind, do this, do that. Then there's the other side who just is holding up a giant red stop sign just saying, be quiet. Be quiet for once. Just hush. 
Don't say a word. Calm down. Close your eyes. Stop thinking. And maybe then you'll make a right choice. Whatever you believe here, not up here. Up here is what questions here. You feel something, your impulse to do something the right way or make a decision on which one is right from here, not here. This is what questions this. For me, at least, I like if I was to make a choice between vanilla and hazelnut coffee creamer of which one I want, I like both. But which one do you want? If my mind says, oh, French vanilla right away, I have like five seconds before this says to me, but wait, you like hazelnut as well. So you don't know which one you want. But this already told me to say vanilla because that's what I wanted in that second. Go with what you thought in that second, at least for me. That's what works for me. Just picking up what I want and going with it. And that's what I've been doing with my whole life recently. Is just picking it up and running with it. Is just saying makeup is what you want to do. So let's do it. Let's take it and go. How many times I've been questioning doing YouTube it's been like a year in the process. How are you going to afford these lights? How are you going to avoid this camera that you're talking into right now? How are you going to afford this background? What are you going to do? How is it all going to work? There's no way it could work. And it's not making it work. It's just doing it to make yourself happy. And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing this to make me happy because it does make me happy. I love sitting here with my coffee that I made this morning and just talking because I love to talk. I'll talk and talk and talk, I'll talk all day. I could do this all day long. <laughs> um, but yeah, and this is kind of therapy for me. So even if, that's another thing, if you guys aren't on YouTube and you don't wanna post anything on YouTube, get a camera or your phone and just talk to it. Look at yourself and talk to yourself. It's like looking in a mirror and talking to yourself and just give yourself a pep talk and just say, you know what? Whatever's going on right now, screw it. You know the right decision. You know what to do, so do it. Don't let your brain talk you out of it. Don't let that other side talk you out of it. Just do it, because in the end, it'll be worth it, and you'll know you made the right choice. Um, with all that being said, I think I'm gonna cut it right there. I don't wanna go too in depth in anxiety and depression just because it is a little bit of a sensitive topic. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked this little form of the Shan Chats video. I'm gonna try to get a subject for every week um, for this. So yeah, let me know if you guys liked it down below or if you have any things you want me to talk about. Um, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to talk on that subject a little bit if you guys would like me to. So yeah, oh, if you're wondering, this mug is from Dollar General and it says, love you to the moon and back. I bought this for my boyfriend and he doesn't use it. So now I use it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's like a pretty decent sized mug and it was a dollar. Yeah, that's how cheap I am. Oh well, that is going to be it for today's video of the Shan Chats. So if you guys did like it, leave a comment down below and let me know what you want me to talk about next. Um, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.